shootings taking place in the area. Four separate shootings in just seven hours, leaving two people with life-threatening injuries and one person found dead. Anti-gun violence advocates speaking out now, calling for change. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker breaks down today's events and how they are seeking a solution. Those advocates are saying as Charlotte continues to grow, the sounds of gunfire have become all too common. And the way to combat this is by starting at the beginning. A violent start to Memorial Day weekend in Charlotte. Just before 1.30 Saturday morning, CMPD responding after someone was shot on the 500 block of West 3rd Street in Uptown. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Just 30 minutes later, a different shots fired call came in at the 2600 block of Arnold Drive just off of Eastway Drive. We asked CMPD about the shooting, but we were provided a Twitter video and were not able to ask questions or gain clarification. The initial call for service stated there was a large party with several people with weapons. Police say a suspect... A large party with several people with weapons. ...inside a stopped vehicle started firing shots. An officer then returned fire and the suspect then drove off. Officers are searching for a four-door silver sedan with a sunroof. Anyone with information about that vehicle could please, or this incident at all, could please call Crime Stoppers or 911 and the detective would be glad to talk to you. There are no injuries at this time known for this call, and everything is in the preliminary investigative stage. A few hours later, medic responding to the 2300 block of North Graham Street after someone sustained life-threatening injuries from a gunshot wound. And at 8 a.m., Medic then responding to the 6,000 block of Airport Drive, that victim, too, sustaining life-threatening injuries from a gunshot wound. It's becoming normalized. Not one more parent should have to bury their child. Greg Jackson, founder of Heal Charlotte, a nonprofit advocating to stop gun violence, says it's a domino effect. The root cause of it is that the communities aren't getting the resources that they deserve. And Give me a grant so I can fucking pay myself a salary out of the grant, pay a couple of my buddies a salary, and we can fucking go around and do nothing. <laughs> what the fucking city gets worse. There, I translated it. Getting to stop gun violence says it's a domino effect. The root cause of it is that the communities aren't getting the resources that they deserve and the opportunities that they deserve. He's calling on the county and city leaders to provide more funding for education and workforce development. People are making decisions based off of their environment. Young people need to understand conflict resolution skills. Kelly Goodson started not one more after her son was shot and killed. She says a conversation needs to start at home. Talk to them about how to solve conflict, and then they become the ones who solve it. Did that work with your son, lady? Come on, man. Nothing works, man. No, we're going to keep it in South Carolina for this verify because we are seeing backlash on social media tonight as marketing material for a Juneteenth celebration in the Carolinas is going viral. So, of course, Juneteenth marked on June 19th, celebrating the emancipation of the westernmost slaves in the United States. It took Union troops until that date in 1865 to finally reach Texas and inform folks there enslaved black people were free by executive decree. Well, this is a picture of a Juneteenth banner in Greenville, South Carolina circulating online. It is drawing some ire and it shows, as you can see here, a white couple on this light post banner <laughs> advertising this upcoming Juneteenth celebration. Well, they the ones who freed. Technically, technically those Union soldiers who came out there to tell those fucking son words that they were free. Those Union soldiers were white. So Juneteenth, Juneteenth is not just a black holiday. 600,000 gliders died on those fucking battlefields to fucking free you goddamn son words. So let a fucking let some gliders be on there, man. Fuck it, man. Drawing some ire, and it shows, as you can see here, a white couple on this light post banner advertising this upcoming Juneteenth celebration. Many commenters are questioning the reasoning behind the race of the models chosen for this campaign. So, of course, we did want to verify first whether this photo is real. 
And then we also wanted to see if there is much more context to share with these stories. So the two main questions that we're trying to answer here. As always, for Verify, we want to give our sources up front. So we have Ruben Hayes, the founder and executive director of Juneteenth Greenville. And then we have visual confirmation from downtown Greenville, essentially video of downtown, courtesy of the NBC affiliate there, WYFF. So we did grab some still shots from this downtown footage to look at some of the banners that we see out here recently. And we were able to confirm, yes, this banner is real. News footage from downtown shows this banner with the white models. But we also saw this, we saw other banners and they had different models of different races. So you can see some examples of other banners and the other models used. The lead organizer says that they were trying to portray how everyone is welcomed to join in Juneteenth celebrations and everyone is needed to come together to push any vision forward. Yeah, but we don't like y'all. But like I said, like, like okay, so uh, Cleopatra is uh, black and uh, the Little Mermaid is black and we're not supposed to react, but oh my God, put what, two white people on it on one banner in the middle of Juneteenth celebration. Oh my God, it's the end of the world. Yeah, man, it's just sad, man. It's just sad. The anti-white racism is just so sad, man. Why can't white people, why can't white people, they're the ones who, Union soldiers showed up to tell you, son, words you were free. What do you think those fucking Union soldiers looked like? Something like 530,000 died, too. And probably 500 of that were white. Without a doubt. Apologizing for the execution of that message. We understand that it's a very sensitive subject, especially in the African-American community. Um, and we failed. What's not a very sensitive subject in the African-American community? Um, and we failed at making sure that we completely centered African Americans at the center of our marketing, of all of our marketing. So yes, once again, this is a real advertisement, a real banner from Greenville, South Carolina for a Juneteenth event. But keep in mind, other banners were included as well. All of them, however, we're hearing are going to be going away. Organizers, after apologizing, say that they plan to change the banners to feature now just the Juneteenth and the Pan-African flags.